Scientists say there's a very good reason for 192 of the world's nations to be meeting in Copenhagen to talk about ways to slow climate change. They say the planet is already suffering. The decade 2000-2009 is very likely to be the warmest on record. Some dispute the existence of dangers posed by global warming. The experts say the Earth's average temperature rose 0.74 degrees between 1906 and 2005. That may not sound like a lot, but the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says the warming is stronger over land which is only about a quarter of the Earth's surface. Warming is also more evident in the Northern Hemisphere, home to most of the world's industrialized countries. The IPCC says average Northern Hemisphere temperatures during the second half of the 20th century were very likely higher than during any other 50-year period in the last 500 years, and likely the highest in at least the past 1,300 years. Why? Scientists cite the increasing amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They say the CO2 increases the greenhouse effect, making the Earth warmer. The scientists say changes due to warming are already measurable. This farmer in Kenya says drought has become unbearable. He says there is no food, no water. The Copenhagen summit hopes to slow or even reverse climate change. It has two main goals, agree on how much industrialized nations should reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. An agreement is also expected to include targets for slowing emissions growth by emerging economic powers, including China and India. This is our chance. If we miss this one, it could take years before we get a new and better one, if we ever did. Summit participants are also talking about financial aid for poorer nations. The money could pay for moving away from fossil fuel consumption. It could also go to coastal protection, improved farming practices, and other costs of coping with climate change. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.